Good evening, everyone. Let us go ahead and have a look at the next PUET question. It says a country has a trade deficit, experiences a nominal exchange rate depreciation. As a result, the trade deficit will necessarily decline, increase, cause inflation. So nothing will happen or nothing can be said. This is a very good question. So basically, see when, <clears throat> let's write this down. Whenever there is depreciation in nominal exchange rate, it has two conflicting effects. First, if your if your currency is depreciating, of course it is going to happen that people will demand more of your current uh, more of your products. So the volume of exports will increase. So the volume of exports will tend to increase. But at the same time, what is going to happen is that. Uh, the value of import will increase because see this if your currency is going from rupees 80 per dollar to rupees let's say 90 per dollar then whatever you are buying you are paying more per dollar so the value of import not volume but value of import will increase so uh, will increase so when we talk about trade balance It is value of export minus value of import. So when I talk about value of export, it means quantity exported into the exchange rate at which it is getting exported. Quantity imported into the exchange rate at which it is getting imported. So here the quantity exported is increasing, but here the exchange rate is also increasing. So in such cases, what we go ahead and use is called a J curve, which is based on the Marshall learner condition. Right? So in this region, the trade deficit gets worsened when worsening of trade deficit, when there is depreciation of the currency. And in this region, the trade balance is improving. So improving, right? So we can't necessarily say what is true unless we don't have more information. Now look at the third one. So this, this necessarily is not true. This necessarily is not true. Now this says exchange rate depreciation will cause domestic inflation. Till this point, it is correct. Yes, it causes inflation of the currency. But it says there will be no impact on trade deficit. This part is wrong. There will still be impact on the trade deficit. We just don't know whether it will improve or worsen unless you tell us something about the Marshall learner condition. So the correct option to this is D. Is this clear to you? Okay, now I'm giving you a question. You must find out the answer to this yourself. You have to tell me that in WTO's agreement on agriculture, the blue box subsidy refers to okay one subsidized agriculture exports two income support to farmer Three, incentive to farmer to make environment-friendly products. 
to make their cultivation environment friendly. And D, to protect certain crops, some measures. So you have to tell me that in WTO's agreement on agriculture, what does blue box represent? Okay, thank you. We will meet in the next class.